plaintiff, Samuel Nelson, rented an apartment to the defendant. And within two weeks, the police were called because she was allowing her ex-boyfriend to stay with her despite having a restraining order against him. Samuel claims he then learned that the defendant and her ex abused meth and he's suing her today for rent and electric bills. Defendant Shelley Clemens Collins says Samuel is nothing but a womanizer and a pervert. Shelley claims after she moved in, she discovered peepholes all over the apartment. And Samuel often came into the unit unannounced, including once when she was in the shower. She's countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Well, sir, I've been a landlord for uh, 30 years, and uh, this tenancy has been a nightmare, one of the worst I've had. Uh, I met Shelly uh, in August of 14. She came to me with a sob story how she had uh, lost all of her belongings in a house fire and nowhere to go, desperate, needed a place to stay. Came to you where? Uh, at my apartment complex. Okay. I had a sign out front, I had an apartment for rent. So I uh, felt sorry for her. I let her into the apartment. I did not do a background check. It was a big mistake. Uh, within a week, I was getting tenant complaints about noise, arguing. And then uh, August 30th, the police were called. And her boyfriend, this guy named Lamel, was hiding in her closet. And she had a restraining order on him. To so keep him in the closet? <laughs> he, he was hiding in to the closet. To restrain him in the closet? <laughs> no, he was hiding from the police. The police showed up. So oh. They, the police. Okay, I, so I said that's a new one. <laughs> the police uh, <laughs> handcuffed him and took him away. That was on the August 30th. Well, that got my interest up, just who I had living in there. So I called her ex-employer, found out that uh, her and her boyfriend, Lamel, probably started the fire by because they were cooking meth because they were uh, drug abusers. Your Honor, that's a lie. Is she still living there? No. Let me allow her to give some background, ma'am. Hi, Your Honor. Um, I should have known better than to rent from Sam Nelson to begin with because he's a womanizer and he's a pervert. I first met Sam um, through not one but two of my family members who dated him, um, even though he's married. Uh, well, he said he met you when you drove by and saw the sign for rent. You knew him I, already? I, I got a hold of Sam through my family members. Um, and they told you all this before you moved in? That he would be a nice guy that would give me a place to, to, to start over my life, mm -hmm. which was what I was out to do. I had a fire in, in May of 2014 due to a candle that burst when it got too hot, not to drugs or any type of anything like that. There was a lot of domestic violence in my life at that time. I was in a bad relationship. Um, my ex got out of jail. He um, came back to my apartment How do you know where you live? He, I don't know, that I don't know. But I did allow him to stay there a few nights, which led to more. I am proud to say I am away from him now and will not never go back. Ma'am? What I, you don't know, Your Honor, is that Sam, um, had walked into my apartment with his key on the third day that I was in the apartment while I was in the shower. He would not walk out, saw me. It, you know, my not shower door was open. I have evidence to show you where I found peepholes in the shower room as well Pee as, holes. here you go, Your Honor, a, as well as he's walked into the apartment three or four times and said that he could do so at any time he wanted to. That's uh, not correct, Your Honor. Okay, well, okay. Judge for yourself, sir. Uh, I believe Sam uses his money and his power to take advantage of vulnerable women. He let me move into that apartment for 50 bucks. Sam, you got peepholes in the bathroom? Uh, no, I don't, sir. I, I'm looking at I'm a not, hole I'm in there now. That, uh, huh? electrically inclined to install some I type have of also, peephole system. I see a hole in there. Sir, I also have a report from a cable installer that went up, up in the attic area and said there was no reason for those holes, as well as there's others in other apartments. Let's see him. And so do you go I in I also have house? letters from other tenants, Your Honor. I, I, no, I do not. I always post on the That's not true. Do you recognize these, these holes in the wall, in the bathroom, in the shower? Uh, yes, I recognize that one. That is a, uh, a nail pop from drywall. The other one is the other so one in the bathroom. When did you discover these? Let's start there. I was in the shower after about three weeks of staying there and was shampooing my hair and look up like, ah, what the, what the hell is that? 
it freaked me out. I've got copies of my journal where, yes, I was into drugs at one time. I also got counseling for that, and I'm sober today. Have you spoken to any other tenants? You yes, the sir, only you have a there. letter. Any you other female tenants? Yes, sir, you have it with you. I, is she still living there? Yes. I don't want to mention her name. Sam makes me extremely uncomfortable. He's came on to me several times during the time frame he's told me I am not to have any male company. Oh, that's so ridiculous. Also, he has come into my apartment several times without prior notice. Yes, sir. And I myself have seen the holes in the defendant's shower, and I am terrified of him. His sexual remarks have made me uneasy, and I have asked him several times not to disrespect me like that, and he has still made comments. Yeah. And you've never had a drug problem, you say? I have, sir, yes. Yes, Crystal sir. Crystal meth? I, yes. How long ago did you stop? I've been clean for eight, oh, almost nine or ten months. I'm, I'm almost a year clean. Yeah. I, I went through treatment. I don't know if treatment. I would give credibility to that. that I don't think that, mu that person must be on crystal meth, too. No, sure. <laughs> if they're going to write a letter about their landlord, sign their name, and talk about their landlord is sexually harassing them, and give it to you, you don't even live there anymore. Sir, when I found it, when she found out that we were coming here, mm -hmm. And I, I told her mm -hmm. what the case was over. Mm -hmm. She said to me that she exploded in tears and said Sam has been doing her the same way. She's on disability. She owes him money. And he lets her pay a little bit each month as long as she stays single. It's just the way that he is. I can also <laughs> prove that he was angry at me before my rent was even due because he was going to throw my clothes into the dumpster and have a cleaning crew come before my rent was even due, sir. I have text messages to prove that. Let's see. Who and are those no text reason messages for between? It. They're between me and Sam. Let's see them. Sir, you tell There's me about pages. the rent and the electric bills and yeah, anything the, else uh, you want to resume telling me about. The rent's four fifteen a month, plus the electric service I pay water. She would never get on the electric bill because she had a prior balance with the utility company, so they wouldn't let her get on the bill. So I was forced to pay it myself, make copies of the, of the bill, and I would give her the copies and her back rent that she was due. And every two weeks on Friday when I knew she got paid, I was knocking on her door trying to get rent and utility money. I am uh, happy she's gone. Um, I've learned my lesson about uh, not doing a, a background check. And I have 10... Sir, I'm reading uh, what purports to be text messages exchanged between the two of you. And you were... Uh uh, discussing whether you were going to throw her things into the dumpster, um, evict her without uh, uh, judgment from the court, uh, throw her things out. She tells you that she's going to uh, tell you last time I talked to the courts, if you enter my apartment, I'll press charges. What is all this about, sir? Uh, I did give her uh, a three-day notice several times during her tenancy. I did have the eviction going on, uh, let's see, April, day, date in April. And then the day before the eviction hearing, she pleads with me not to go through the eviction because she didn't want that on her record. So like an idiot, I filed dismissal on the first cause, which is the eviction. And she's going to meet me at the apartment at five o'clock to turn over the keys. Well, guess what? She didn't show, didn't turn over the key. So I texted her and said, how can I help you help yourself? Yeah, you did and say that. And she said, give me 70 bucks. No, I didn't say that, sir. Yes, I said you the did. I'm reading it. You no, did. No, no, I said the only thing keeping me from moving on is 70 bucks. He offered that. I never asked him for it, sir. I understand, I had already but saved you, up that, You a sound lot. like a drug addict on there, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> I'll move if you give me $70. No, it doesn't say that. Who says that? Okay. You did say it. Counterclaim for 1000 is for what? For the, the walking into my apartment while I was in the shower twice. You can see the picture, sir. My kitchen area it was open to the shower. He stood right there and watched me showering. I had to kick the door closed for him to, to not see me naked, which he did anyways. He's absolutely an incredible person who takes advantage of vulnerable women. And that's all I have to say. I was a drug addict and probably always will be a recovering drug addict. But it gave him no right to do me like this. You have evidence of the amount she owes, sir? 
Yes, I do. Uh, I have $810 after deducting the damage deposit of 415 I have pictures of the apartment I as I moved the, out. Uh, record of the payments that she made. How long did you stay after he saw you in the shower? How long did you live there? Six, after? About six months. Six months afterwards. Ma'am, you come across like you can. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you, that's how I feel. You're coming across, you're taking the game too far, and you, now you're coming across like you're kind to me. Okay. Uh, how long were you on drugs? Uh, about a year, I tried crystal meth, and, and I was hooked on it for a year before I went to jail. I know, I'll never lose that stigma, ever. No, I'm just, I, I know when people are kind to me and when they're not. Okay. I know how people talk. Yeah. Judgment for the plaintiff, your claim is dismissed. Have a good day. <laughs> Bye-bye. I don't have anything to say. Well, I hope... Show you what power can do, though, doesn't it? I hope He's got money and powers. Together and I have. Make some recovery from this. Mm -hmm. I have.